Starbucks vanilla beverages are really easy to recreate at home, and I'm gonna show you a few variations as well as how to make your own copycat vanilla syrup. Let's face it, going to Starbucks every day, it adds up. When you make your own coffee beverages at home, you end up saving a lot of money. It might take you a little bit of time, but once you're set up, it's so much easier. The three variations on Starbucks vanilla coffee beverages that we're gonna make today are the iced latte, the hot latte, and the ever popular Starbucks double shot on ice. To make these, all you need are your dairy of choice, some coffee, strong coffee, preferably espresso. If you can pull espresso shots, you could use a mocha pot, or you could use like double brewed coffee out of your automatic drip. And you'll need some vanilla syrup. You can either buy that at Starbucks or your local supermarket, or I'll show you how to make it here at the end of the video. The first drink we're gonna make today is the iced vanilla latte. This is the easiest one to make. You combine two shots of espresso, one ounce of your vanilla simple syrup, top it off with milk, and add ice. Time for the taste test. Iced vanilla latte, it's simple. So good, honestly, it tastes exactly like when you get at Starbucks. It's just amazing how simple, you know, when you make your own syrup, or even if you buy their syrup, how simple you could just recreate. This would be like a grande and would probably run between like four and five dollars, so. Next up, we have the warm vanilla macchiato. Start out with a mug filled with about half a cup of your milk of choice. Today we're using almond milk. Microwave for about one minute, or you could actually use a steaming wand with the frother. Froth it up, add one ounce of your vanilla syrup and two shots of espresso. And that's your vanilla macchiato. Next, we have the hot macchiato, which is which means marked. It is, uh, this is another really good one. The vanilla really comes through a little more with this because it's warm. But I love it because you get the frothiness of the, the milk along with the strength of the coffee. Last up, we have the double shot. Side note, this is the most popular recipe here on the channel. I've done a number of double shots before. I did the classic double shot. I did the eggnog version of the double shot. And this here is the vanilla. It's very simple. Into a cocktail shaker, add one ounce of your vanilla syrup, two shots of espresso, a bunch of ice, and shake that up. If you don't have a cocktail shaker, don't worry. Pass it back and forth between two glasses. You wanna to try to get a little bit of air worked into it. So a shake, shaker is best, but you really don't need it. Pour into your favorite glass. I like to use a Starbucks tumbler with a straw and then top it off with your favorite milk. Today we're using almond milk. And that is the Starbucks double shot on ice flavored with vanilla. The double shot. Now I gotta mix it up a little bit. This is your guy's favorite, obviously. That's good. That's a lot stronger than the iced latte just cause you add a lot less milk. You just top it off with a little bit of milk but the vanilla comes right through. Vanilla, classic flavor at Starbucks. Here's how you make the syrup at home. Making your own vanilla syrup, very simple. You need three ingredients, so easy. Some water, one cup of water, some sugar, one cup, and vanilla extract. Even with the fanciest vanilla you could find, this will cost you pennies on the dollar, or you can go to Starbucks, they sell bottles of it. It's like $15 for a liter. What you'll want to do is heat your water to a very gentle boil, add your sugar, Stir that in until it's translucent. One to two minutes. When all the sugar's dissolved, turn off the heat and carefully transfer it to your favorite jar. This is simple syrup, also known as classic syrup at Starbucks. In order to make it vanilla, we're gonna add some vanilla extract. Allow this to cool completely and add one tablespoon of vanilla extract. If you want it extra strong, add two tablespoons of vanilla extract. This one was heavily requested in the comments section, so if there's anything you wanna see us tackle here on the channel, leave a comment down below. If you like this video, hit it with a thumbs up, subscribe down below. I'll leave all my coffee recipes right here. You can click into that and watch all those episodes. And I also make other delicious things here. I'll leave the playlist right up here and you can check all that out. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next episode.